Indiana lawmakers are debating proposed amendments to the abortion bill. The bill bans abortion at all times except in cases of rape, incest, lethal fetal anomaly, and to protect the mother's health. Our State House reporter Kristen Eskow breaks down those changes that have been made so far and which ones were denied. Just as we saw in the Senate last week, Republican lawmakers in the House were once again divided on whether to include the rape and incest exceptions to the proposed abortion ban. State Representative Karen Engelman proposed eliminating the rape and incest exceptions. Ending the life of an unborn child is neither necessary nor an evidence-based treatment for rape. Democrats and several Republicans voted down that amendment, including Republican State Representative Ann Vermillion. Rape is trauma. It's to have a part of your soul and your body and your dignity ripped from you. Lawmakers also rejected an amendment that would have eliminated the exception for fatal fetal anomalies, situations when a fetus is not expected to survive long after birth. State Representative J. Michael Davison pushed for the change. We try to oversimplify it and uh, in, in that we dehumanize what we're really talking about. Democrats and several Republicans defeated Davison's proposal. There's so, many, so much agony that a woman in this situation would um, experience. Lawmakers did approve a change to the definition of the mother's health exception. It now includes situations when reasonable medical judgment dictates that performing the abortion is necessary to prevent any serious health risk to the pregnant woman or to save the pregnant woman's life. 